What's up guys, it's your boy G2K and hopefully you have all been well. It is me as usual here with Zoro. We finally made it to the factory at the end of the last episode. I admit guys, if I just show you real quick, see, they're gonna find me as enemies. Let me let me just get out of their sights real quick. I actually did a little venture, not in the factory, not in the factory, I admit. I went outside and took on just random enemies just to get a more feel for Zoro. And at the same time, I noticed what was lacking from what we did during our episode where we took on Tashiki and made it to the factory. So um, health boost, the health regeneration speed, etc. You no know, um, range damage and a little bit of an attack boost was definitely necessary. However, I told myself that future skills are going to be what is next. So we're going to go for, before we start upgrading, as you can see, um, I do want to get, I believe it is this one, uh, these two skills. Uh, maybe not the Tatsumaki, the dragon, uh, rope dragon twister, but I want to get this move and this move. I'm not even going to try and say that and pronounce it incorrectly, just in case, as as a One Piece fan, I don't want to, I don't want to tarnish its name, you know what I mean? But we all know what move that is. And then um, I also want to get the crossing, uh, the six paths as well. So it's not just the Lion Gate and the Large Castle Gate. Um, uh, the Lion Song, sorry, and the Large Castle Gate. And then I can slowly improve the rest. To be honest, I don't really think I'll be using any of these. I'll probably get the equipment slot too at some point. But in terms of the rest, guys, I haven't done much else. Literally left off right in front of the door. And we're going to continue and find out what's going on in this factory, which is quite interesting. We came here with Tashiki. And I reckon that we've got some some strange things coming up ahead. But as you can see, damage-wise, we're doing crazy amounts ever since I put the equipment that I had on. And uh, it's funny enough, we earned that during a mission. I, no, I believe that I opened that and got it in a chest, actually. And yeah, it's made a huge, huge difference. And now, plus the bonuses, well, not the bonuses, the skills that I've upgraded uh, on the health and the attack boost side, it makes a whole world of a difference. Like, for me, me just grinding these one to five, maybe even 10 points, if I'm lucky, of these guys it makes like a, a trust me it makes a, a world of a difference right now um and i honestly don't mind you know as a one piece fan you gotta grind sometimes in this game try and get to where you want to be um so that you can get strong enough to take on who you want to take on because we don't know who's like the bad boss of this really to be honest oh wait someone else's problem is I've, i i remember these guys keep spawning and it can get a bit frustrating uh, because you don't exactly earn the most points as well. Only one uh, per piece. But I believe I saw a chest just over here. Let's see if I'm correct. It popped up. Maybe I'm wrong. It might be on the other side of the factory. Uh, but let me see. It's not down here. Uh, let me see if it's... No, I don't think so. I think it's... Um... Yeah, it's going to have to be on the other side. Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Let's see. Uh, is there a way to go up? I don't think so. Aha. That actually might be what it where it is. Think about it. I did not. Um, this place. No, oh, this game. Sorry, can get really creative sometimes. And now with Zoro, like I said, we need to get completely uh, used to the way he traverses. Um, this place now because Luffy we got the slingshot everywhere but now Zoro just have to run around um, but enough of getting distracted finally to check out the rest of the factory which I haven't done with you guys and let's go ahead and see if we've got any cutscenes coming up no okay just explore let's see what we got uh, any chests up here okay there's something here that's probably gonna get triggered if I touch it otherwise I believe I need to go down purely because the stairs were there uh, we probably have to go. Oh, Tashiki's right there. I did not see you. Let's see what she has to say. Ronora? What? You don't plan to get in my way? 
Did you see what was in the container? No? Anything interesting? It was full of weapons. That makes this a weapon factory for the Navy? I haven't heard anything from the Navy about a factory deep within the sea prison though. I need to look into the workings of this factory. Good luck with that, Four Eyes. You think there's more to it? Come with me, Rona. What? Why do I have to... I could arrest you here instead if you like. Both our covers would be blown if we went uh, at it right now. You wouldn't want that uh, want that now, would you? Huh? Oh my gosh, she's got, she's got Zoro on lock right now. Which is very, very strange because usually this girl can never get away with Zoro, which is kind of funny. Uh, but she's looking forward to, you can see the smile on her face, but looking forward to working to give her a nice one. This factory seems to have more floors down below. The control room for the door to the stairs is probably beyond that door behind you. That one, huh? That switch should do the trick. I really wish they would let us like slice down the doors or something. Like there are certain games, um, like old school Naruto games from the 360 days. Some of my, two of my favorite old school anime games. Hold on, I'll, I'll continue where we left off, but uh, there we go. Yes. Stairs are next, huh? The switch in the control room should open the doors to the stairs. Okay, let's go check the control room. Um, as I was saying, guys, two old school anime games that are probably some of my favorites, like honestly. Um, I have the memories I have of them are so fond. Is uh, Naruto Rise of a Ninja and Naruto Broken Bond. Those two games honestly made such a big impact when I was young. You know, fun games to play, like there was just everything in them. Honestly. Uh, let me see if there's a chest here. I would highly recommend it for those that haven't played and are Naruto fans, especially. Definitely games that need to be played at least once in your lifetime. What I really liked was that the first part, even though it was a bit frustrating from uh, my perspective when I was a kid, um, you go through the first game and it only takes you off to, it goes, it goes to the first, it's the young Naruto, not old Naruto, not super, they didn't get to that point yet. Uh, I switch around here, I guess I have, uh, I'll have me a look. Rona. Hold on. You have... You have to assess the situation. Huh? Oh, I guess you're worried about being seen. Why don't you take care of things here then? You aren't the boss of me. I swear. Yeah, she's definitely going to get frustrated because Zoro kind of like Luffy and just does whatever he wants to do. The door to the basement level 2 is unlocked. It seems that each level has its own control device. What a pain. Can't I just cut my way through? You most certainly cannot. This factory itself will prove important for post investigations. Do not break things unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, come on. I just want to make my way down. Damn, she's kind of being a sport of sport, not letting us have our fun. But it's okay, you know? It is actually okay. Um, as I was saying, the those two Naruto games... They're done for the younger Naruto, not the Naruto Shippenden that you guys probably yeah, know of yeah. mostly. Uh, Four Eyes was right on the money. We'll probably find a control room somewhere on this level. Okay. And with those, you kind of, basically they split the story of the younger Naruto into two halves, which is kind of cool. A bit frustrating from like a center fan perspective. You want to play your heart out, play these games and you're like, oh, let's go, let's go. Then you find out at the end of the game, you're actually halfway through the story and it stops there but it was a nice kind of like breather i guess um got to take on both sides on two different games very nice exploration you can climb trees walk on water highly recommend it for people but uh, enough talking of naruto we are playing one piece right now and let's not forget one piece let me remind you guys is my favorite anime <laughs> nothing bad to be said about naruto we've played it here on the channel funny enough if you guys haven't seen we've completed the storm series um all the way to the uh, bonus dlc of the boruto movie as well very fun in fact and i i honestly enjoyed it we did a really good um smooth playthrough as well got through the bosses pretty quick not quickly but I didn't necessarily struggle too hard with the majority of them, to be honest. Um, Storm games, uh, I'm not even going to be ashamed to admit it. I was a bang out back in the day. When I was younger, Storm games were my thing. So 
I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to those games. Uh, as well as Pirate Warriors, which we've also done. That was my first playthrough on the channel. Not something I am particularly proud of in terms of quality wise, but I am glad it was the first step on the channel. I probably might revisit that at some point with DLC, which I have purchased. So I would like to check out these new characters. Um, you know, you've got Odin, you've got X Drake now, you've got Monkarooge and stuff. People that you wouldn't expect, uh, or to be honest, you'd expect X Drake. Um, Odin from Wano, you probably expect as well since we do play in Wano. But the game was done before we had progressed further in the Wano arc in current time. So, of course, they couldn't spoil too much. But let me go ahead. Is that a gun or is that. Oh, it is a gun. Hold on. Let me get you. I should actually be able to get this chest before people actually shoot me. No? Awesome. This way. I hate it when they, they put it in most awkward positions. And then it's like this. Yeah, well, you. Let me just finish you. He should be able to explode and, like. Okay, there you go. I was about to say, like, why why weren't you done? Why weren't you finished? Uh, This, it looks like, is going to be a long one. Oh, can we go? Haha! -ha. Oh, okay, so chest. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. Like I said, guys. I genuinely thought that we would get our materials passing on from... Ooh. It's plans. Okay, so I didn't get it, but I can make those. Nice. Um, found the switch. Okay, switch is here. Now let me just take on the rest of the guys, get that little bit more points, which is definitely what I need. Um, but I was actually quite surprised. To be honest, maybe I shouldn't have been. I should have been expecting that because it was small. They didn't want to make it too easy. Uh... I thought the materials that we had gathered in our journey with Luffy would continue on to the DLC. But turns out no, so now I have to like grind some more, which isn't a problem. Like I said, I actually had a lot of fun starting this DLC with you guys and Zoro is very, very smooth. And honestly, I wouldn't even like question the fact that I'm actually enjoying Zoro more than Luffy currently. He's just different, you know, we get a lot of games, you get to play the main character, you get to play as Luffy, but it's just different. It's so much more fun, you know. Like I said, I have a soft spot for uh, for swordsmen. I love being able to slash away at people. It's just a nice thing, I guess. People might, might disagree, they might like the brawler type, like Luffy using fists, or uh, they might like a guns type of person, like Frankie, I guess, or... I mean, he's maybe not like the right person to suggest about weapons and whatever on One Piece, but uh, it, it's a different pace. I, I believe this this game it works for both. You know, this game isn't um, what do you call it difficult in terms of what combat you choose will be make the gameplay a bit more frustrating. It doesn't because with Luffy it was still entertaining and fun. We got to unlock all these other skills as well. It's just what I'm saying is, guys. Oh wait, there's no chest up there. Okay, no. Uh, I need to do the switch for that place over there. Uh, I believe that Zoro is a lot more fun on, uh, than Luffy in this game. So far. So far. I might change my mind. I don't know. But so far, that is my verdict. Okay. Yes. That should open the control room on this level. Let's go. I believe it's going to be further ahead now. Yeah. Good thing I took out all the enemies. By the end of this and going all the way down, hopefully. Oh, they respawned. Nice. More points. That's literally what I want. If I manage to do R1 just in time, like quick enough, um, what I like is it does that slow motion, like the observation hacky, basically. Zoro isn't as strong as it as Luffy, so we don't actually get to use that and observe everywhere like Luffy does. But let's see, I I started off like with 54, I got 81 points guys, so literally, basically defeating another 19 soldiers, I can get one of these, but to be honest, I don't know if I max out the attack boost, which would generally be beneficial, or I just keep going to the health recovery speed, or this, it's, a, it's hard, because like, we, I know this game isn't the longest of games, in terms of it being a DLC, it's just, I don't know whether I want to dedicate too much extra time, to uh developing zoro too much i to be honest i do want to get his attacks to like to the maximum but then again i need to see there it is ronora 
<laughs> Perfect timing, Captain Four Eyes. I'm sure you can handle things here. Oh, give me a break. Let's see. The door to the basement level 3 is now open. But don't the weapons on this level look familiar? Huh? They do? I'd say so. They're the same um, as the ones the pirates on the island use. Confiscated weapons are usually stored in a naval base. But the fact that there are weapons here, they obviously belong to someone. And the factory too. No point in arguing. All we can do is head down to find the truth. I suppose. But the thing is huge. Just how many levels does this factory have? I'm pretty sure B4 is the last one. Okay, so we've unlocked three after three. We've got one. Okay, cool. Whoever it is, they're probably hiding um, here. Let's push toward B4. Wow, okay. Looks like Tashigi is going to let us do all the dirty work, as you've seen. She's basically only going to make uh, show her face. Um, oh, there's still enemies. Nice. Um, she's only going to show her face once we've reached the switches, which I guess isn't too bad. Um, but at the same time, what do you call it? It's, it just means that we're going to have to go search for the switches. She'll meet us there. I reckon she'll start to make more of an appearance once we've made, uh, made it to the basement. But until then, nope. Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm not going to defeat everyone purely because we're trying to make some progress. Even though it would be very beneficial, let me get your wastes up in here. Nice. Well, I forgot we went through this room as well. Let's go. And you know, I'll get you up here too as well. Just fight that one extra. I believe that we're actually now. Okay, no, we we barely got any points. You know what? I need to stop getting excited about points. Uh, <laughs> where is the stairs? Aha. Sorry, there you go. There you go. Now we're on B3. She said B4 is going to be the last one. So hopefully. Aha. Another secret chest. Thank you very much. Well done on hiding these, to be honest. I wouldn't expect in this type of game to be able to enter things like this. But because I have definitely a surprise, I reckon this one will be on the ground. Unless. It's up there. No, it wouldn't be up there. No way. Okay, let's see. We've made it to B3. There are some sailors here too. Good. My blade's been itching to. Roronora. What? What the? What are you doing? Shh, be quiet. Hmm, what is it now? Sailors try to apprehend me. They should, they probably didn't recognize you without your haughty attitude. Hmm. Maybe and maybe not. Lol. She took that one, she took that one personally though. The sailors here don't seem to be dispatched by the Navy. Huh? Then who are they? I'm not sure. There's a guard room on this floor. I'll try to gather more intel there. I'll head to the guard room. You go to the control room. Cause any, uh, cause any trouble and any of the army sailors will come rushing in. So there are more than other, uh, the, bleh, okay. <laughs> so there are more than the ones we saw, huh? The switch to the control room seems to be at this location. Do not let them see you. No, really? I reckon without being, oh snap, okay. Um, let me just try and point those two books. Uh, okay then. Okay, let me just double check. People are there. Okay, I can actually do this. Oh wow, okay, that, that was easier than I thought because we got the dash technique, but otherwise, oof. Here we go again. Okay, why did that remind me of that San Andreas beam when he goes, oh. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That should open a control room on this level. 
Okay, so with unnoticed, okay. Uh, let me do what I did before again. There isn't, he's not looking that way. I'm not seeing anyone. Weesh, need to be careful, power there. He's not looking my way, I believe. Nope. There we go. I don't know why I could really up. Uh, I wouldn't mind fighting, you know. You know I want to fight, but Tashki wants to do this low and hidden. This ain't Assassin's Creed, love. You know we're not trying to sneak around. Um, this must be it. Rona. She loves. She loves Zoro, man. Same first name basis. Hey, Captain Four Eyes. I'll open it now. Oh, he's got no respect for her. But Captain Four Eyes, haughty attitude. That's why he loves Zoro, man. He don't care who you are. The door to, to basement level four is now open. Do you find anything? The factory manager appears to be the warden. His research lab, uh, research lab is on B4. I knew it, I could smell it a mile away. Smell what? The warden smells, uh, seems to be well groomed. That's not what... Ah, <laughs> oh, Tashigi, what is wrong with you, man? Forget it, I'll find what I'm looking for down there. Do not start a ruckus. Goodness. Alright. Do we have to sneak back? We're still in chapter 3, which is good to know. Um, thank you very much. I want to fight. I want to take on everybody. Okay, there's no chest here. There's a chest here. Chest might be on top. I doubt it. But let us see. Is the chest up here? No. Oh my god, he kind of knocked himself out there. See you. Ah, that guy over there in yellow should give us five points. I, I think, I think. Don't hold me to my word. Um, give us five points. Five points? No points? Ah, okay. Seven points. Okay. That felt worth going after him. No, you come here, come here, come here, come here. Don't run away. Exactly. This is Rono Zoro, the pirate hunter. You can't come after us. It's kind of funny that he's called a pirate hunter when he's a pirate, but you know, name stick. Wait, I defeated everyone? Oh no, I must have defeated everyone that's on this side. Uh, let me see if there's more. I'm pretty sure there is. Here. Like when I started, no, no. Okay, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. So these two chests that I'm seeing must be the ones that are still below. Let's see what we can find down here. This is basement level four, so we've reached the ground. This probably means uh, we're coming to the end of chapter three. This seems to be the last floor. The warden's lab should be somewhere around here. <laughs> Finally, I can meet him face to face. As far as I could tell, there are two control rooms on basement level four. I wouldn't be surprised if the warden's research lab is locked up. Uh, is locked up that securely. Well, we will have to find the switches first. I'll look into it. Uh, in, uh, can't even read. I'll look into it too. I might find some info about the factory. Okay, so let me continue. Um... Another secret thing here. Yeah, we go. Thank you very much. Take your wares. What are we getting from you? Nice. Uh, and we got two yellow ones down here. Whoa! That was that was four guys at once. Wait, what? Oh, Zara, you're so fun to use. Why did you? Why was you not the main character of this game? Let me do it like this. Cheat the system, guys. Cheat the system when you can. Cheat the system. There we go. Now, are there chests up here? Oh, no, but there's a golden thing. This is a no. Anything else? Nope. Now, let us head this way. 
Aha! Yeah, yeah, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Chests are very important, people. If I can make like a... I think there's no gold equipment. A golden dragon chunk. Oh. I like the sound of that one. See if there's a thing. Oh, here. Let's get you first. And that is it. I am waste back. Okay, we got one uh, actual equipment. See, oh, there's robots here too. I'm gonna find a switch, don't worry. I'm gonna just take on these people first. Thank you very much. Switch has to be. Oh, interact. What am I interacting with? Aha. Scrap iron. Okay, that's kind of a logical sense. Switch has to be somewhere. Uh, not here. Oh, chest. Where? It's up there, I believe. Oh, I think it's up there. Thank you. Can we? Uh, there's nothing. Nah, somewhere else then. So these are doors to more places. That probably goes to those chests. Um, okay, switch is gonna be there, hundred percent. Well, not there, but further this way. Thank you very much. Warren Arizoro to the rescue. Okay, that was nice. That didn't work. Let me go up the normal way, like a normal person would. Go on, Zoro. I didn't defeat everyone, but at the same time, I didn't need to. I definitely have more than a hundred. No, no, not even. Okay, okay. No. See, I gotta earn it first. A jail? This some kind of detention center? The hell? No one's here. Uh, let me go up. I reckon that's what the trick is gonna be. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm mhm. Like I could collect you from the outside. There's actually nothing here. Okay, it's a bit disappointing. I thought you'd get like a little hint at some people that we might know, like as like a trick or a, hit, a hidden thing. Maybe not. Okay, go this way. Switch is here somewhere though. So I just need to keep searching. Oh, found switch right here. Ah, that was nice. And I was ready to search the whole thing top to bottom, not anymore. Thank you very much. That means we've got two more skill points needed to get to 100. See, the way is going really slow, guys. That's why I'm very skeptical about spending the points. Yes. That should open the control room on this level. Roronora, see? She's obsessed with Zoro. I'm telling you. Captain Four Eyes, the control room is unlocked. There's something you should see. Get over here. All right, let's get over there. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna get the chest as well. Nice. Get you. Wap hole metal. What's the chest? The heck is that? Documents detailing dinosaur stones? Dinosaur stones, I've heard that, uh, heard the name before. It's a mineral with enormous amounts of energy, but why are the doc their documents about them here? I should look into the factory a bit more. Okay, interact. Chest, here we go. Ooh, more plants, nice, nice. Those aren't open yet, so I can't get that. What is going on over there? I reckon she's found something to do with the robots because there's too many robots here. Uh, where are you? 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 Aha! Oi. What is this place? <sighs> it's an inventory room for robot parts. Just look at all the wapo metal. Wapo metal? Why does that sound familiar? <laughs> A shape memory alloy, it's all the craze these days. A super alloy that can alter its shape 
and has shock absorbing properties. The Navy hold hold it into high regard. If I remember correctly, it was originally used for toys. Mm. Used for toys, huh? And now it's being used for combat bots? Mm. Any resource or tool can be exploited for good as well as evil. Mm. It's not entirely unlike your swords to have a pirate as their wielder. Sigh. Mm. Listen, don't complain. I'm helping you. That's got nothing to do with anything. Oh. You satisfied, Four Eyes? Yeah. I know there's more to respect to you, but I've investigated everything I can for now. Oi, oi. There's still one more area you haven't checked. Go unlock the, the go unlock the control device. You should have mentioned that sooner. You're the one dragging me around. Yeah, let's see what happens when we do the control room. I genuinely want to know if there's anything extra. Is it this way? Yeah. This door. This door. Let's run with the zero. Thank you very much. Sure. Hey, Captain Forrest. Hey. I know, I know, I'll unlock it. At least you know now. Let's see. Ooh. Did that open a research lab? No, this time it seems to be a reference room. Just a reference room, huh? There might be something of importance here. Let's check it out. I reckon that's the other room where the other chest is. That would be the only thing that makes sense, I think. I mean, I can't put, they wouldn't have opened, we can't open too much else aside from the door that's straight ahead. And this kind of looks like a big boss fight area with the big circle. So I'm assuming that might happen at some point. But let us see. The heck is that? Let's see, it's your battle data. Your moves and abilities are thoroughly analysed and outlined here. Really now? But why? Someone must hold a pretty big grudge to have re uh, researched you this ex exhaustively. <laughs> I'm a bounty hunter turned pirate. I can't even begin to imagine how many people have a grudge against me. I'm not thrilled by the fact that someone knows so much about me, though I, I can say that much. I think that's about it for the yes. reference room. It's time to help the research lab then. Yeah, let's head to the other control room. Okay, so I'm assuming once we go to this control room, everything will kind of like change or, or start. I'm probably going to leave this off here as much as we haven't done anything crazy today. I did want to see if we finish chapter three. Well, to be honest, let me see how long it is going to take us to do that. And we can go forward from there. I just don't want it to uh, extend for too long. You know, I like to keep my videos preferably on the shorter side, just so they're not too boring. Uh, is it this way? Yeah, this way. Sure. Hey, Captain Four Eyes. I'm doing it now. Okay, she, she, she knows by now. She's got a little, little what saying, and she does what she's told. The research lab is now unlocked. If you run into the warden, please don't go in swinging. No promises. Let's go. Oh, I feel like that's a warning. Like we're going to run into something major. Yeah, final door. The one at the end. Let's see what is going on in this research lab. What? Okay, hold on. I don't see the warden anywhere. So this is the research lab. The warden conducts his robotics research here. Frankie would have a field day here. Let's look around. We might find something. You bossing me around now? The warden is hiding something. Smoker said as much. But Smoker has appearances to keep. He can't just move as he pleases. That explains why you're here. Didn't know you were allowed to side with a pirate though. Who said anything about siding with you? You didn't seem like you had anything better to do, so I figured I'd bring you along. What'd you say? I'm only here out of the kindness of my heart. Lol. <laughs> Sorry, it's kindness of his heart. Don't know if he has any. I can't say I can recall a single act of kindness from you. She doesn't just look like her. She totally acts like her too. 
What are you blabbing about? Just forget it. We're wasting our time here. When you're going to look for information? Well, hop on it, Madam Cap'n. Well, <laughs> why did I say it like that? Madam Cap, uh, yeah, okay, you know what? I'm going to give up on that. I, I know what's going on as Captain, but whatever. Oh, look, she's doing that little pouty face. Would you cut that out? Okay, so we researched a little bit of the lab. Let's go ahead and find out this last piece. And that should be it, no? What is this? You find anything? Robot data from the middle of the room. Code named Kagero, an auxiliary mech designed to enhance the warden's armored suit. It was designed to learn the movement patterns and techniques of whoever, whoever it observes, storing those observations as data. So you're saying it's just some sort of extra piece for the warden suit? It's hardly just another piece. Its armor is made of the Wapo metal, its power source is the Dino Stone, and its weapons are made from sea prison stone. And most importantly, its movement patterns are based on my data. Its fighting capability is anyone's guess, but there was a def definitely something about that in the spec document. Plus the warden did blurt something about collecting good data. So it was all for this robot. I get it now. <laughs> they used my data to program it. I'd love to see what it's really capable of. Whoa, it moved! <laughs> perfect. Wait a sec, you're not going to fight here, are you? Got a problem with that? It's the perfect opportunity. I regret not being able to exchange blows with the warden. This will be a good warm up, though. Jeez. Zoro is getting ready to take on this Kagero, this basically fake version of. Oh, wow. Damage. Hold on, hold on, sir. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a bit annoying because it's in the air, but we should be okay. We're actually doing loads of damage. This is what happens when you upgrade damage just a little bit. Kagero, hard to believe it can go toe to toe with the pirate hunter. Sounds like my kind of machine. Doesn't seem to be an ordinary piece of uh, scrap. I wanted to check out the prison warden, but he's got his eyes on Luffy. Therefore, I'm setting my sight on Kagero, and he'll make a worthy opponent to slice down. Slice down? You're crazy. Kagero is under the restriction of the prison warden. Oh yeah? And what are you going to do, huh? I'm going to rendezvous with the Navy. I need to check in with the top brass about Kagero. Why is that? Either the Navy knows about Kagero or the prison warden kept it a secret. If we can't get an accurate information, uh, we won't know what to do next. Whatever floats your boat, I'm going after Kagero. That's not happening. You're avoiding a valuable specimen. You're coming with me, understood? As if I'm a pirate, why would I even want to go with you? Later, Four Eyes, you better not follow me, alright? Hold it right there. Seriously, you're so impatient. Now that was fun. I was literally waiting so that we can get this mission done, so that we can see what was happening. We finished chapter three. It took a while. Uh, maybe I took a bit long as well. But let me go ahead and leave it off everything here, guys. I'll take on the skill points uh, next time with you. Thank you so much for the love and support you've been showing me. You have been absolutely killing it as of late. I really, really appreciate it. Really don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It makes all the difference for me and the channel. I'll keep posting these videos out for you guys. And don't forget to keep in contact. Drop it down in the comments below. Whatever it is, One Piece wise, if you want to see a specific series, just communicate with me, guys. But other than that, I hope you guys are all well. But this is your boy G2K. And I'll see you guys next time for Chapter 4.